the tangle web we weave. I'm gonna make this a teaching moment because I don't know how to digress at this point in my life. We have a few things to cover today because I wanna teach people how you deal with male stalkers. Just waiting for you guys to come in. A lot of powerful information is gonna be shared today after we go over yet again another Brother Polite video done by yet another male stalker. Peace to the family. But I can reassure you, we're gonna to get to the knowledge because I don't know what it's like to be doing videos and don't teach. And I wanna make this clear to the young man. I wanna make this very clear to the young man that look, just because, just because somebody has exposed you or said that they've been dealing with you sexually or in a relationship with you in an intimate fashion just because they're transsexual if that's what you got going on in your world then you should come to terms with your sexuality and stop all of this filibustering and ad hominems and personal attacks on different people's lives a transsexual came out against you and said that you're in a relationship with them so why on earth why on earth would you turn around and disrespect my children after a transsexual expose you? You deal with that situation. And if it's not true, you deal with that situation. But what does my children have to do with any of that? I don't get it. The transsexual says they was in a relationship with you and the video is all over the place. And then you contact me. You contact me. Or reach out and, and do a vi not contact me, pardon me. You reach out and put my name in the video again. I know it's for clout purposes. I know it's for views. Because when you put my name in the video, you're going to get more views. It beats the hell out of those 6,000 views and 3,000 view videos you just was doing. Your shit is tanking. You need enough controversy to build it back up. And then the residue from that controversy as the numbers go down, it still gives you a significant sum of viewership until you come up with the next conspiracy. But this is what we got to talk about. This guy is infatuated with coming up with pedophilia schemes and ideas surrounding my family. And it's very disrespectful. But he's not a respectful person, so I'm not asking him to give any respect. I do understand what he's attempting to do because he would like me to put his name in the video so he can leverage that and keep it going. That we will not do. <clears throat> but let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you guys. It's very, very, very important. So, I, I've never been so mad at another man that I wanted to give my opinion on how pretty his minor is. Watch this, family. Watch this, family. Here's my daughter. Matt. Here's one of, one of my daughters. Proud of her natural hair. Look how beautiful she is. Very proud of her natural mm -hmm. hair. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's extremely proud of her natural hair. Look at this. Now, what I don't understand is, thank you, Malil Bay. What I don't understand is, right? If a person is mad at another man if a man is mad at another if a man is mad at another man why would he go out of his way to tell you how he feels about how that man's 13 year old looks no i'm not gonna um <clears throat> i'm not gonna take debate as in be rude and disrespectful and yell curse and scream but it's something to be said about a grown man who's going after a 13 year old what has a 13 year old done to you? And and then the, the thing about it is, and I'm gonna share the name and the tags on the post because people have reached out to my daughter and they have reached out talking about what they're gonna do to her sexually. I, I got the names. I'm gonna reveal the names too of these people on Instagram. <clears throat> I'm gonna reveal it. I'm actually gonna post their names. My family is presently dealing with it right now. And people have done this on behalf, we got people who put young Pharaoh name there. 
in light of his video because he has people just as sick as him. People have done this today. Made threats on behalf of this brother and included my children. And they're piggybacking off of the sexual themes of his video. So that's going to be dealt with properly. Am I saying that he told these people to do it? I know when he does his videos, he said, send polite this message or hashtag him this, that, and third. I know that's popular in what he does. But I can't tell you that he sent these people there. But I certainly know he incited this because in light of his video, asking why am I picking up my 16-year-old from dance class and intimating that something sexual is going on? Let me explain something to this guy. <clears throat> Let me explain something to him. Let me explain something to the people that support him in this idea. Just because I call, I refer to my daughter as such. I have a, not the one I just showed. I have an older daughter now, okay? And she's my non-biological daughter. But I don't, I shouldn't have to go out my way to tell people she's my non-biological daughter. But let me explain this for the immature pedophiles that's out there. That's making something sexual of me referring to a child that has not come from me biologically as my child. When two adults get together and they come into a relationship and have children. <clears throat> Tracy Lamont, you can stop with that pedophilia too. So, when two adults get together and they have children from other relationships... Do you expect me as a man to say, well, that's your child, these are my children, and to treat that woman's child as separate and different from my children? Or should I embrace all children as my children, especially if the reception is there? So in this particular scenario, the reception is there. I don't tell people's children to call me dad. But if they do, and that feeling is mutual especially, I shall receive and what I won't do is make a distinction amongst children of the same household. So just because I pick up my then 16 year old daughter from dance class and she's not my biological child, but we live in the same house and I am the father figure of that house. That doesn't mean something sexual has to be taking place because she's 16 and I'm picking up a young lady that lives in my house that I'm raising from the time she's five, six years old. That is sick and you need help. Now, I'm not mangling his words. You can watch his video and you can see him saying, why are you picking up a 16 year old? Why are you letting her call you dad? Why are you calling her your daughter? Why are you picking her up from dance class, huh? Why are you picking up girls that's not your daughter from dance class? Because that's not your biological child. You can, I'm paraphrasing. You can watch this. <clears throat> and this guy has an obsession with me identifying a child that I raised as my daughter. And he's constantly doing this every year. Calling me a fraud for saying she's my daughter because she's not my biological child. I will never refer to her as my non-biological child except for this particular instance. Because the sad thing is, you got people that's inboxing me, complaining on his behalf, stop acting like that's your real daughter. So I see there's a lot of weirdos out there. <clears throat> and to intimate that something sexual is taking place because a man is picking up a 16 year old child that he's raised since five, going on six. Now here's another thing. Here's another thing. No, I'm replying because we can teach. There's an opportunity to teach here. So I'm not looking to do no yelling, cursing, screaming, and name calling. There's an opportunity to mm -hmm. teach here. <clears throat> That's why I'm replying. You know what I'm saying? So, again, this this thing, this, this campaign he's on to stop me from identifying my daughter as my daughter because she comes from a previous relationship, though her moms and I have a child together, to spread sexual propaganda about this young black female, who's now a young adult now, but he's been bothering her since she was younger. Right on her birthday, he does this. Her birthday is Valentine's Day. She has to deal with the hurt 
in the embarrassment of someone spreading propaganda about her sexually. Now, here's the problem. Yeah, young pseudo, here's the problem. At her age, <clears throat> here's the problem. When you spread sexual rumors about a young lady, you have no idea how that implicates her emotionally. That's one. If you have a problem with another man, why are you going after my 13-year-old? And why are you going after my eldest daughter? Two, why are you spreading sexual propaganda about her? And if we were to ask this guy, does any of these sexual rumors you're creating about another man's household, did you get it from the mother? Did you get it from the father? Did you get it from anybody that lives in the same household as this girl, this young lady? Did you even get it from my daughter? Did my daughter say something to you? Did the father say something to you? Did the mother say something to you? Did our aunt or niece, or, did anyone say something to you? No. You would have to say you got this idea from someone just like you. Someone who lives outside the household. Who was mad at me and chose to spread sexual propaganda. <clears throat> so, just because, and it also happens to be somebody you don't like. But now the person you don't like says something about me. And it warrants the behavior of you to propagate sexual propaganda with no regards to how it may implicate emotionally and socially impact this young lady. No regards. Oh no, he's not gonna bring out no Negro activity in me because these are the workings of broke people who don't have much going on for themselves. Because when you have a lot going on for yourself, you don't compromise the integrity of your mission and create instances that may become too volatile for you to deal with you don't do that you don't take risk like that when you start dealing with people's children when you're happy about your life i don't hate a man it's not in me to hate a man when i say effeminate behavior when you if you ever saw a woman who was madly in love with a man or she really was into a man and then they have a fallout for whatever reason they have a fallout then what happens when they have a fallout, what happens is suddenly he could do no good. And she's constantly always ensuing him, saying this and saying that. That's what we've seen from a lot of abused women. Well, here's a man that asked to join my organization. Here's a man that I ignored several times over. Then the brother side never said, hey, man, please just talk to the brother. Talk to the brother. Here's a man I wasn't feeling his vibe. He cursed too much. And I ain't like his demeanor. And he looking at me like I'm attempting to control him. I ain't need that vibe. I didn't need that vibe. So, I, I, I was like, we'll give it time. Since then, he's been mad as hell. And now I could do no good. But before, on his videos, according to him, when I was in jail, I was looking up to you. When I came home, I looked up to you. Everybody wanted to be like you. I mean, come on, you were polite. His words. Out his mouth on video. And so, okay, I, I'm, I'm not embracing you I didn't take you under my wing or my tutelage and so when does it stop you doing this every year you got if anybody has a relationship with brother play if you're a female and you ever had a problem with him send me your email so we can look it over and, and if and, and if it makes sense we don't expose him this is effeminate behavior now you need to find something wrong with me from other women in order to take me down this is very feminine. It's very, it's okay for females to have female emotions. But for a man that insists that he has nothing to do with the LGBTQ community, which would be your prerogative, but for you to be, for you to go against that community so vehemently as you do, it is no wonder that this transsexual has come out to say that he has a relationship or she has a relationship with you or has. I don't know if that's true but what i do know is rather than you address that video that's circulating all over the place here's an opportunity to talk about polite 13 year old let me let people know how pretty i think she is if she's not pretty why are you sizing up my 13 year old why is a grown man publishing videos sharing his opinion about how he thinks my 13 year old looks 
See, I don't play those kind of games. I don't. I don't play those kind of games. Now, I don't care where he get the rumors from. The fact of the matter is, you're implicating my children. And if you didn't get any information from anybody in the household, how is it you have information about something illegally being conducted, but the police don't have the information, but you got all this information. You got all this information. No one's being locked up. You got all this information. And you spread in this propaganda, these very serious allegations, and you don't care if you're hurting a young lady or young ladies. People sending my 13-year-old your BS. And people sending them messages motivated by your BS, as they always do. Go after my children. She's 13 years old. We're not accepting that from our 13-year-old. We're not, we're not accepting that, those type of, that type of behavior. We're not accepting that. And we deal with it accordingly and properly and legally. Not, not nothing, you know, we're not doing nothing violent here. We ain't got no time for it. But the mothers and people that are related to my children, they'll deal with it accordingly. <clears throat> because it's, I'm, I mean, when I share, when I share with you guys, because I'm going to post it. I'm going to do a different video and I'm going to show you what people have sent my 13-year-old. And you tell me if it's not pedophile-inspired. Or motivated. I don't play these kind of games. I'm not with that. I'm going to show their actual names on Instagram. I'm going to show their names on Instagram. The people who sent my daughter messages, I'm going to show you their names. So you know I'm not BSing. Because y'all need to know mm -hmm. there's sexual predators mm -hmm. out here. Yes. So y'all got to know this. That's crazy. And for a man that's saying he won money, then then when he gets called out for lying, then he says, well, he's waiting on it. Then, well, the case is pending. Now you turn around. Now you want to fight for $5,000. Let me explain something to you. Because he knows he's BSing. And he knows what the response is going to be straight out the gate. We're going to talk about me having a kickboxing match for $5,000. Really? So you're going to... Matt... You're going to violate. You're going to disrespect people's children. You're going to make up story after story about me doing this to you, me doing that. You got all these stories about you being a victim because I'm doing this and I'm doing that. You got, you're the one, if we go on your page right now, you're the one with my name all over your page. I'm not the one with your name all over mine. All you have to do is type my name and this, this guy's name, and you'll see how many videos he does on me every year. Every year, he's about to destroy me. He's about to end me. He's like pinky in the brain. And every time they attempt to rule the world, it never works out. You attempt to rule my world, it never works out. <clears throat> we can go on his page and we can see his videos doing 5,000, 6,000, 4,000, whatever. And then when he talks about Brother Polite, 100,000. You know what's going to happen after, right? He's going to do another video. That's going to probably do 50 or 60,000. Because he put my name in it again. And even though he's going to lose traction because he does this all the time, when he uses my name, he, he has to do a bunch of videos back to back to back to back to back to keep it going. Because even if the and he does it until the view, the view count goes on decline and then he leverages, he leverages that attention back into with his original programs of slander, controversy and gossip about whatever's going on in other people's relationship or world and the media, celebrities, whatever he talks about. So. He picks back up the momentum from that. And then when that shit dries out again, he goes into controversy again and he, he finds another person that he wants to talk about. <clears throat> That's what he does. I don't make these things up. You see, he can talk about speculations and drama. Polite be like, yo, tell him, get the case number. Polite be like, look up the names or whatever. Whatever he talking about, ask him. Don't ask me because I don't know what he's talking about. I don't got nothing to do with him. When something don't have nothing to do with my business, I stay out of that. If he's saying he's doing something against somebody, he's dealing with somebody illegally, that's his business. Don't ask me about it because I ain't got nothing that attests to me having a business connected to him. I ain't got no business connected to him. I got nothing connected to him, so I don't need to deal with him. True story. Now, I can tell you, you could go on his page and we can see the video counts and the numbers dwindling. And, you know, and then he mentioned me. Boom. Boom. One tenth of a million people. And then what happens is these people think that someone's interested in them when they get those numbers. No, they're interested in me when you talk about me. 
They're interested in me. They're not interested in you. When you make conversation about me, you get your greatest hits. How many videos do you have that's in the millions? How many videos do I have that's in the millions? I'll do that debate. I got plenty of them. 20 million, 30 million, 15 million, 6 million, 1 million, 2 million, 1.2, 1.5, 2.2. I got plenty of videos in the, in the millions on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Plenty. And, and none of them that I have in the millions is about me talking about other people. None of them. I ain't got one video in the millions that has... Don't go too far. I don't got one video that's in the millions where I got the attention because I was talking about other people. I, all my videos in the millions because I'm dropping science. I'm teaching knowledge. I'm disseminating information about politics, economics, theological concepts, health. That's, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> that's what I'm doing. That's how I get my millions, my greatest number. So if I want to stick with what works for me, then I will have to continue teaching because that's where my greatest views come from. When we look at your greatest views, you get your greatest views from being disrespectful, antagonizing, controversial, and giving no regard to other people's families or their wealth or their care. If, you know, you celebrating the fact that Farrakhan got cancer. I may disagree with Farrakhan about few things. And for the few things I disagree with him about, that doesn't warrant me to celebrate this man's cancer. Under no circumstances is that the right way to carry yourself. And for those of you that celebrate, nah, that's good for him. All this, no, nah, no. Talking about 13 year olds and if you think they're pretty or not, that's your grown man, that's spooky. I'm not with that, that's, that's weird. Asking if a man should pick up a 16 year old that lives in his house that he's been raising since five, six years old, because she was turning six, and he's in a relationship with the mother and raising all these young ladies as his children, whether they biologically come from him or not. And then you complaining about me calling my biological daughter my daughter. That's none of your business. You got to grow up. That's none of your business. <clears throat> That's none of your business. And, and I'm telling y'all, once YouTube decides you can't monetize your video, you see the worst come out of these people. So now you got to resort to being kicked in your head for a living. For, for a few bucks And that's probably why you repeat everything you say Three, four, five times over and over Like you be glitching Because you probably got hit in the head too many times You be glitching So if YouTube ain't gonna give you nothing You gotta go out there and fight for blood For pennies on a dollar But don't mistake me for that So to, to get to the next point And get to the teaching Here's something we gotta consider family We need to really consider this you want to violate and disrespect and, and bring up sexual propaganda of other people's children. Not because you actually know anything, but because you just simply dislike the man. Because you hate another man. Hating another man to me is very homoerotic. I don't hate you. I understand you. I don't hate you. I totally get you. I understand mental health issues. I got enough knowledge about it. I understand agent provocateur. Stuff And I understand when we advertently and inadvertently play into the hands of covert operatives that want to see dissension promoted massively in our community. I got enough knowledge of self to know what I'm looking at. And if I ain't got all the facts and the details around it, I got, I got enough information to understand it so I can never hate that which I understand. I don't hate what I understand. I understand you. I see your views dwindling. I understand that. I see them skyrocketing when you talk about me. I understand it. And as I told everybody, if he did one, you know he's coming with several. Because he never complete his thoughts in one. Because like an effeminate man, if he see you say anything, he got to respond. If someone say something, he got he to gotta have the last word until he feel satisfied that, he, that he, he did what he did. When I know I cooked you, I stop. And I don't talk about you no more. So when I did my YouTube preliminary debate with you, when I did that, that was it. That was it. When I did that, that was it. I ain't had to do no more videos because what was said was done. You breaking down the physiological structures of pyramids? I'm like, physiological structure of pyramids? The pyramids are alive? What the hell is he talking about? I know. I understand. You know that I understand enough to know that if you put the clean glass next to the dirty glass, we're going to see where the sewage water is at. 
You know, in term, I'm talking in terms of scholarship now. You know, you can't stand next to me and teach at the same time and say that you disagree with me and think you're coming out unscathed, unsinged. You know. So you come up with all this craziness and chaos after we do our preliminary. Yo, move on with your life. You know. I don't forgot more things you ever learned. And the crazy shit about it is I don't be forgetting stuff. So $5,000 to have a fight where they're going to tell me, they're going to put restrictions on me. I'm, you offering me 5000 to fight you, a man that is disrespect my wives and my children. And now I'm supposed to go and get paid 5000 to explain to my children, but there's limits when I put hands on you. There's limits. I got to have limitation on what I'm going to do to the man that's disrespecting my 13-year-old, a grown man telling me, talking, telling people, publishing videos about how he feel about how my 13-year-old looks. And then have people over here sending messages to my 13-year-old about what they will do to her and what they want to do to her. Or just simply trying to shame her. And I'm supposed to be over here like, oh, yeah, let's let's. Let's form <laughs> let's formally get together. Let's let's put some rules here and some padding on and let's make sure, you know, no listen, brother. I don't wish you no harm, because I understand you. I don't hate you. I can't hate another man. I'm not in that type of situation. I don't go around here hating other men. I'm not obsessed with other men. I don't feel like destroying other men. I don't ask other people who have relationships with other men, can you please sit down and do mm -hmm. me a favor and, and y'all send me emails if you got ever had a problem with him. I don't, I don't do that. That's, that's your world. I don't deal with that. <clears throat> no, family, we're going to talk about this and get to the knowledge. So watch this. I want y'all to really understand something. <clears throat> $5,000 for me to do what? I'm also insulted by that. We got to talk. And let's, let's, let's get into economics now. We got to have a conversation. What the hell can you pay me 5000 to do? Yo, if you, you say that, like you're talking about a lot of bread for people to break skin in, in a contact sport. If you out there getting paid five grand, 10, 20, I know you ain't getting paid no 20 Gs, but if you out there really, if you really out there getting punched in your head and kicked in your face by white folks, but especially... And you, if you out there really doing that for 50 grand, you're crazy. Them YouTube, them YouTube AdSense streams, once they shut your ass down, yeah. yo, I can't knock. You go out there, you do what you can for your bread to feed your family. That, I'm, I'm not going to knock that. But you, you should be smart enough to find something else to do for a living. And don't tell me somebody who, who prides himself in being smart that you just out there getting kicked in your head for fun. You're doing that shit for money. And I know you're doing it for pennies of a dollar. Because in the real world, there's a low pay when you just start boxing, let alone kickboxing. So I know you stress. You got children you got to handle. You got children you got to handle. You feel me? And as smart as you say you are, you out there getting kicked in your head for a few pennies on a dollar. And then you expecting other people to kick in their head for a few pennies on the dollar. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all why it don't make sense to me. I already expressed you can't disrespect a man's family and then turn around and say, let's have a fight where there's restrictions and a referee where they can tell you, you you can't do this and you can't do that to the person who's been disrespecting your wives and your children. Baby girl. <clears throat> that, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. Because one, I don't hate the brother. And two, can no man pay me 5000 to get into no fight if I don't get 5000 just to speak? You know what I get to speak for an hour? I get over $20,000 an hour to speak. And you see, I don't got to play a game. See, these guys mistake me. Because I see when this guy and uh, the other the other. Light skinned cat when he when they do they 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 events, <laughs> I saw I could see the floor and I could see the empty chairs. And cats do it, cats will go to Albany and do something in their hometown and can't pull 50 people. So they probably really thinking, I could tell him five thousand and he'll salivate at that. I'm not you. You ain't the one with the millions of views. 
You ain't the one with the celebrity networking influence, and you ain't the one that get paid to speak, because ain't nobody going to pay to hear a gossiping brother speak with a squeaky voice that comes off very effeminate. Now, you may get views on YouTube, but you, views on YouTube never translate to sales in real life, because people got to really be invested in you to say, I'm willing to fly from out of town to sit down and listen to you say something. <clears throat> Come on, man. I get over 20 G's to speak. Now we're going to do the math. Since you want to be an idiot, let's do the math. Let's do the math. Hold on. Let's do the math. <clears throat> Watch this. Y'all think I'm joking. Let's do the math. It ain't really hard. Watch this. Watch this, people. Hold on. Watch this. Boom. Hold on. Watch this. Wow. 1.3 million views. Matter of well, peace. Brother Polite. But that's not what I'm here for. Watch this. Watch this. I want y'all to see something. I want y'all to see how much people is in the building when I debate. Come on, babe. I'm the best at this. Oh, man. Don't say that. How you gonna, how you gonna put him on trial and you yourself don't go to the scene of the fucking crime? That's right. I'm gonna give y'all some evidence right here. Watch this. Look at all those people in there. And first of all, when I take a trip, I don't just go out by myself. I bring my research team, my security out there, and my wife, who's part of my research team. So I'm in Kimmy. That, that, that's going to cost more than five bands just for me to go and do research. I don't, I don't download PDFs and debate people. I go to the place in question. Look at this, y'all. I'm, I'm about to make the point now. You need to realize the people that's in the balcony. This is our Humbra ballroom. 5,000. To do what? Yo, that's some poverty shit, son. Yo, you trying to hustle and come up because your YouTube AdSense ain't working or whatever? Yo, you, yo, you don't ever... Just like you don't talk about my 13-year-old, you don't ever petition to pay me 5Gs to do what? Put hands on someone disrespecting my family? 5,000? Even if we didn't have beef, 5,000? To do what? So let's say everybody just pay only $40 minimum advance money. That's 40 times 800 people. We're talking about $32,000. You do know I do I do the catering for the events, right? You do know any event I do because I produce my events. We handle the food. Every plate of food is ten to twenty dollars. But let's not count no twenty dollar plates. Let's only count the ten dollar plates. And let's say we didn't sell a ten dollar plate to each of the, let's say only eight hundred people there. Though we know my numbers. You call our humble ballroom. Let's say we only sell to five hundred people. $10 at a time. We're not going to count the $20 plates. We're not going to count the drinks either that, that's not included because the drinks are $8 to $12. I know the name of the game. Hate the person that's on top. Always make a complaint about that person that's on top. Attempt to belittle them, undermine them, and demean them in hopes you could take their slot. But just because you talk negative about me, just because you may earn some followers disrespecting me, doesn't mean that you're me. Doesn't mean that you're going to cook like I cook. Don't mean you got sauce like I got. It doesn't mean that. You still no talented. You was no talent prior to slander. You're going to be no talented during the slander. <clears throat> so let's be for real. Let's be for real. No man can pay me no 5000 for what? 5000 for what? After you, I mean, you disrespecting my children. You paying me 5G. You paying me to do what? 5K, that's disrespectful. 
And I know you're a disrespectful type. So you would say something stupid like that. And you would think that that's appealing to someone. You would think that because you're gonna your barometer for what you can pay people or what people should make and what people think is a big number is based on your own personal circumstances. To do what? <laughs> people have no clue when and we the, the recordings there. I still got the recording when I called you and you had me live when I was talking to you. Damn near begging. Let me, let me see you in person. I ain't threatening you. Let me just see you in person. You can hear a rat piss on cotton. And if, if the cats need that video, we can easily pull that video up. And now all of a sudden you got heart. Now you've been now, now you've been getting kicked in your head for a living. Now you now you got heart. No, that's because you got a concussion. You can't mess with me under no circumstances. Facts. Facts. Let them let them people let them people keep gassing you. But the, the time for two two men to say, you know what? Let's have a physical outing. With some rules and restrictions That time is long gone and past You're very disrespectful young man And for you to even even Suggest that you can pay me Something to satisfy me No you looking for a come up yet again Let me see if I can make some money Off of him legally Let me see if I can make some money off of him And, and, and see if I can get this fight Yo bro like Yo you scrambling for bucks I ain't got nothing to do with that Keep my, my children name out your mouth They're minors as a as a grown man, you shouldn't be publishing videos talking about if you how pretty you think my child is or not. This that, and the third, I, that's disrespectful and it's, it's very spooky in my world. And by spooky, I mean it, it makes me feel very uncomfortable that a grown man is comfortable doing that, and that even adults may even celebrate that and encourage that behavior. No grown man should be issuing any of his opinions about how a 13 year old child looks. Why are you generating opinions about how a 13 year old looks in the first place? You should stay away from that. You should stay away from that. <clears throat> and let me explain something to you. When you learn how to make five figures, over five figures at events, I ain't even trying to, I, I knew y'all would get scary when I said I made 20K an hour. I knew y'all was going to get scary. Y'all really don't understand how I, y'all don't understand how I diminish these numbers. When you really get smart now, <clears throat> once you realize your potential, you, you get a you, you get financials and executive summaries and what you're able to do when you compile mm -hmm. this data about your expenses when you compile sue them for what what do you got that I need sue them for what I don't got time for this this foolishness now now how, how the, the women and other people in my family deal with son that's how they deal with them me I don't take time I don't got time out my day for that I don't, I, don't, I don't care about all of that. He ain't got nothing I want. He ain't got nothing I want. So, when you understand, when you understand something called financials and executive summaries, and you start keeping accounting of your revenue streams, uh, your expenses, what it costs to get chairs and tables and everything, mics, sound system, pay the sound guy, and you put all that into a context called the financial or, and or executive summary, then you're able to take these actual facts and present it to somebody to invest in you because they actually understand based on hard numbers what your capabilities are. When you got a thorough recordation of events and confirmation of ticket sales and live streams, when you can show what you are worth to an event, I can come to the table and say I'm worth X amount of money to an event. Then other people invest in you. Then now you can get advertisements. Now you can say, well, you know what? I understand why he charges what he charges to speak at a college or to speak at a private event because I can show this to somebody. And not only me, a manager is one thing, an agent is another. So when you get you an agent, because an agent can broker deals for you to make money, managers can't do it at a certain level. They can be responsible for you making money, but Technically and actually, I should say, agents are responsible. When that money get real, when the money is small, ain't nobody really watching you. So, so agents be doing stuff, managers be doing because people's pockets don't, don't, it ain't really working like that for them to hire both. But when you really get on on deck, you get you a starting fire. So you can never talk to me and say I'm gonna give you five grand for something, and you're not a friend of mine. <clears throat> All my debates is packed. That's a fact. So what I'm saying is. Once you realize 
your potential. I mean, I mean that in an economic sense. Once you realize your potential, then what you do is this. You say, I right, bet. Now you need to set up a private interest holdings, mm -hmm. a PIH, mm -hmm. overseas, offshore account. Boom, you knock that out. Maybe set it up in Panama. Maybe. That's a good suggestion. You set up an off, a offshore account. Boom. <clears throat> private interest holdings. You then set up a endowment fund trust, I would suggest. Something that you receive donations from. Okay? And, and be able to divest the monies that you get into things that you need to build your brand or your company up okay and you got to compartmentalize the different things that you're going to be uh that generates revenue as part of the endowment fund you know like your books for instance lecture monies and so forth and so on but it's a venue that somebody can actually donate towards you want to be in a position where people can write off money if they give you money because you can't sit here yo how come black people be asking <clears throat> celebrities can you why they don't donate to this one? Why they don't donate that? Why they don't donate this? And I was telling the brother in this community that, yo, people would donate if you have the right instruments or mediums or vessels to put the money in. Because why would I give somebody a $10,000 donation and get nothing back when I can give this person $10,000 and get a write-off? So you got to have something that's not associated with politically fanatical themes. So it don't look like somebody funding racism and all this shit. Get, get you a legitimized business set it up and this negro out here yo what's this company what's the name of this company what's the name you sound stupid you can't run it you ain't got no business okay keep thinking that <clears throat> keep thinking that so you set up a private h uh, a pih a private interest holdings if you're smart you set up your own retirement plan okay because you work for yourself and i'm an industrialist people like to say they're an entrepreneur you look up what an industrialist is i i create my own industry I created an industry around myself and I manage and I control that energy, control everything on nothing. So you get you a trust and then you can set you up a little dummy corporation, a little S Corp or type B gift company or something like that. And you make the type B gift company or the S Corp do everything in the public. And then what you do, you make your trust be deal with everything in the private. So as your public or child company, because you make your trust your parent company and then you put them other companies out there in the public to amass the wealth and then when you turn the money into hard assets you make you create a credit debtor agreement with the trust this is wild <laughs> these people are crazy hold on i can't even see okay bet had to put the battery light on <laughs> these people are nuts Yeah, you write, you write, you go on any of my media, you go to my YouTube page, you go to my Instagram page, you don't see none of that crap. <laughs> you don't see me talking about no one other than myself and my views. And when I get on those major platforms and those syndicated radio stations and shows, I don't take the time out to talk about none of these people either. If they had the opportunity to be on something as big as I've been on, they be talking about me still at every opportunity. I don't have time for that. But the, the, the issue here is for the people that send in my 12-year-old negative things, negative messages, I'm just letting you know that it's going to be addressed. Y'all taking this too far and y'all thinking that it's going to be tolerated, but you really got us confused. You really got me confused. Just because I'm cool and very collected, I'm very calm, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm not looking at it in disdain. It doesn't mean that I'm accepting of this behavior. It just means there's a there's a way that a man responds to this behavior, and there's a way that children or young young boys or people behaving in their adolescence, people behaving in their minority, respond to adversity. I respond to it. This is not even adversity for me, because again, I understand this guy, his motives, his objectives. I understand his hatred for another man. I'm not in a space where I hate another man, so I'm not driven by hate to make very bad decisions. You know, I don't, I'm not driven by hate so much so that I can accuse people of slandering me and literally be slandering that person every day, video after video. I'm not driven by hatred, driven by intellect. So I wouldn't carry myself like that. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to turn up if I'm getting paid to do a debate. I'm turned up when I'm emotionally invested and intellectually invested in something that I'm going to be paid to disagree with or about 
or assert or postulate. Once that check is on the table and I actually care about the conversation, then you're going to see me turned up in all sorts of ways. I'm very excited to deliver truth, especially if I'm going to be compensated for it. But this, this is not adversity. Adversity is when I'm in a scholarly diatribe with somebody. That's, that's more adversity for me. That's what I consider to be adversity. This is just reckless, immature, weird, and suspect behavior that has to be dealt with through the proper venues, and that need not be discussed any further. It's just the way you got to respond to things. Yeah, so you, uh, Rob Woodson, gonna block you because we don't need nobody encouraging me to do nothing for no $5,000. You might be pretty slow. That's big money to you guys. Yo, of course, anybody would fight for 5000 No, everybody and anybody wouldn't fight for $5,000. Are you stupid? Especially if I was hurting and I ain't had no bread. I had to scratch my head on this. Oh, let me go for it. I'm a I'm a well built machine. Let's go for it. Nah, not in these circumstances when you're living good. <clears throat> not like that. It don't work like that. Thank you, family. I I have debated the European. My last debate was the European. Why you ask me? Why don't I debate the European? What's the, yo? Y'all be treating white people like they so much advanced and superior to us. I debate whoever. Whoever got that work, and it makes sense. If it look like you got some work to give out, I'm, I'm down. I got some work to give out too. 